Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Today, as this video is going live, I am starting the Pacific Crest Trail. I'm hiking it with my boyfriend, Nick. Right now, I am in Marin County on Mount Tamapayas. Nick's here, and we are just testing out our gear, setting up our tent for the very first time, and checking it all out. I thought I'd just show you kind of what's in my pack and what I'm bringing along. We've done a lot of research, and you know, we've picked out what we feel is best, but obviously, we're not really gonna know until we've used it a lot, so. Later on, I hope to do a gear review video of what we like and what we don't like. First of all, the tent is a Tarp Tent Stratospire 2. So far, so good. It was pretty easy to set up for the first time. Seems really roomy. We put out our sleeping bags and mats and all that. It uses these trekking poles for the poles. For the rest of the sleep system, I'm taking a luxury item, as some may call it, which is a pillow. <laughs> this is the Sea to Summit, I don't know lightweight ultralight pillow. I will link everything below because I don't know the correct names of everything. Uh, <laughs> in other backpacking trips I usually have just used like you know a sack with like my extra clothes and stuff and I just find it's never quite as comfortable so I decided to splash out three ounces for a pillow. Yep so that's that. For a sleeping bag uh, Nick and I both decided to go for quilts instead of sleeping bags so a quilt is basically like a sleeping bag but doesn't have the back part of the bag. Um, and the idea is that down only works when it's lofted. In a regular sleeping bag, the part that you're lying on top of is all compressed and so it's not actually keeping you warm anyway. So the quilt kind of just takes out that part so you save weight and I don't know, I've never used one before but I will soon. Um, so we got them from UGQ. You can customize like the color, the loft. I got 10 degree and 850 down. Um, so I think it will be a nice and toasty warm. We're, we will see though. Um, for sleeping mat, I got the Sea to Summit Ultralight sleeping mat. It is the women's one. The women's is a little bit warmer um, on the insulation and it's a little shorter. It's kind of just the right size for me. So yeah. We went to the store and tried out a bunch of them and this one we found was the comfiest. There are some that are lighter weight, but I don't know. Comfort is good. Also, what's cool about these ones, the stuff sack turns into an air pump. So you attach it like this. This fills up with air and then you roll it down and you fill it up that way so you don't have to breathe in because I really hate that about air mattresses usually. So I'm excited about that. Nick's got pretty much the same setup over there and that's our sleeping system. Do you want to see the rest of the stuff? <laughs> Cool. So I will try and go through quickly all the stuff, maybe not every single thing because it's a lot of stuff and you know, I don't want to bore you too much. Uh, so first of all, the pack, very important thing. This pack was gifted to me by ULA Equipment. I did a lot of research about what pack to bring. Finally decided on ULA Equipment and I was emailing with them some questions and Chris was nice enough to send me this one to use on the PCT. So I'm really excited. I think it's awesome. There's a feature on the website where you can custom colorize your packs. I went for the semi full color customization and now it makes me really happy. It's really fun. This is the Ohm 2.0. I originally thought I wanted the circuit and I tried that out first and then I thought it was a little bit too big. So I went for the Ohm and I went for the roll top closure. Um, which I like. I feel like it holds weight really well and yeah, I, I like it a lot so far. I have these black diamond trekking poles. They are the women's uh, ergo cork. I don't like sun all the time, so I decided to bring an umbrella. This is Six Moon Designs, the carbon one. So it's really lightweight. I've actually never opened it before, so this is the first time I'm gonna open it. Oh, oh, immediate relief. <laughs> wow, okay, it feels really sturdy, really light. Can I do the rest of the video like this? No. Uh, Nick wants it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's great, I'm excited about that. I will not be taking this. I just have this to drink right now. It's a really hot day. I'll be taking smart water bottles and all that jazz, you know, like the rest of the usually do on the main outside I have my bathroom kit <laughs> or my not bathroom but a toilet kit isn't this exciting stuff I've got a trowel I've got hand sanitizer I've got some baby wipes it's exciting isn't it on the inside of the pack hey 
motorcycle. Can you move on, please? <laughs> so for my food bag, I'm going to use this bag. It's from Granite Gear. Yeah, I don't know. I read some reviews that people like to use this for food bags. So I was like, sure, why not? I have this ridiculously big spoon. <laughs> but it has like rubber edges and it's supposed to be good for like scraping stuff and I'm weird and I really hate the sound of metal on metal so I didn't want a metal spoon and using a metal pot. It's a weird thing. Uh, long handled so if you're like eating out of one of those bags or something. I don't know. We'll see. This is my little pot that I'm bringing. It's Toke 750 milliliter. Really lightweight. I've got a bandana. I don't know might come in handy for something. I've got a little lighter with some Luco tape on the outside because apparently that's something that I should do and then I have the BRS stove. It's miniature. I haven't actually tried using it yet. Maybe I should. Look how small. Cool. Seenock or Knock gifted me this um, water bag. I'm gonna use this for dirty water and then filter it into my smart water bottles. It's supposed to be good because you can open up the whole top. So if you're filling water from like a stream, it's really easy to like fill up the whole thing. I'll be using the Sawyer Micro for water filtration and that just attaches to this or a smart water bottle. And this bag is basically, I have toiletries, I have ibuprofen, different supplements I want to take, extra contacts. I have other things like a bug insect head net. I don't know if I really need this yet for the desert portion, but it's only one ounce and I don't know. I'm just gonna bring it for now. I have my glasses in like a lightweight plastic container like this. I have contact solution, antibacterial hand wipes for when I do my contacts, take them off and on. I want to make sure my hands are very clean. Just a little mini comb for my hair. I got a toothbrush, like one of those travel size toothbrushes that folds up and I took off the foldy half so I only have the half toothbrush and I have a little toothpaste, contact case, all that fun jazz. This backpack came with this little bag on the inside. It like attaches in but I thought it was the perfect bag for my first aid kit. I took a wilderness first responder class the other weekend and I learned some good first aid skills and after that I just could not feel right about going into the wilderness for so long without any first aid gear. I don't have everything, but I feel I have enough. I also have like a little sewing kit for any kind of repairs. I've got a beanie. Oh, these are extra socks. I'm wearing the Injinji toe socks. Really like them so far. My rain jacket. This is Marmot Essence. It's really bright, so uh, <laughs> you can always see me. <laughs> But this is really lightweight, it's only 5 ounces. For my warm layer, I have the Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie. It's really lightweight, um, but warm. It's synthetic, it's not down, so you can feel free to get it wet. Cool. That's that! I have a little dry bag from Light AF um, for my electronics, but charging my electronics is important, so I have a 20,000 whatever anchor charger and I also got a special charger that goes with it that will charge this quicker. They're pretty heavy though so hopefully they are worth the wait but I think being able to take video and have my camera and take photos is worth it to me so. And then I just have like cords and things like that. I have an SD card reader. Uh, I plan on making videos throughout the hike, so as of right now, I'm thinking I will bring my iPad. I might change my mind at some point, but um, so I can use this for my iPad or my phone to transfer a video. And then I also have my iPad pencil. Um, we'll see if I keep all this, but for now, it's what I thought is good. Here is my iPad. I just got this waterproof case. It's also just supposed to keep out mostly like dirt and sand and stuff um, and it's pretty lightweight and they put some stickers on the back. It'll be easier to make videos on this I think. I'll maybe be able to make a little bit better videos than on my phone so I'm doing it for you guys if I bring it. I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> my base layer that I'm also going to use to sleep in um, they are both it's Patagonia Capeline Air. I have the top is like a hoodie and it comes up really high so if it's cold I can put you know it covers my nose and my mouth and then I have the pants of the same 
that's what I'll wear to sleep or if it's really cold I wear it as a base layer. I have this really lightweight bag as a bag liner. What else do I have? Oh, I've got some rain pants. These are from Torpedo 7 in New Zealand. I don't know how much I'll use them, but I think for walking in snow, I might like them. Or if there are a lot of mosquitoes and I just really need an extra layer, that's what I'm gonna use these for. Or if it's just cold and I wanna be able to quickly put something on and be able to take it off. Um, yeah. We got a Tyvek sheet to go under our tent, um, or we'll use it for cowboy camping. That's the idea, although we just tried it out and it's super slippery, <laughs> like the tent was just sliding off it. And then I have a fanny pack because two hip belt pockets aren't enough, <laughs> but really because I'm bringing my camera and bringing the Canon G7X, which is what this is being filmed on now, so I can't show it to you. I also have a little mini tripod that's being used at the moment, so I can't show that to you as well, but I'm gonna store those in here. This is from Waymark Gear, and I love it. Inside, also, I have another little bag from Light AF, and in here, I'm storing my extra batteries and SD cards. My SD cards, I'm just keeping in these little cases. That might be all. For shoes, right now, I'm wearing the Ultra Olympus. I like them a lot so far, but only time will tell. <laughs> Got some Dirty Girl Gators. Ooh. And then, in the sake of being really safe, I have a Garmin InReach. It's the mini one, and you can call for help, um, or you can do texting on it. Uh, it uses GPS, so when you don't have self-service, you can still use this. Got a bandana. I'm bringing also a cap. I'm not wearing this shirt. I have a different shirt. And I have a buff that I forgot to bring with me. But that's about it. As of right now, my base weight is, I just weighed it, it was about 16 pounds, which is about four pounds more than I want it to be. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm okay with getting rid of stuff as I go along. So we might just start with this, see how it goes, and yeah, see what I actually need and what I actually use. Um, I will try and do as many updates on gear as I can and let you know what is working. That's the gear for the PCT 2019. I'm really excited, I can't wait, and I'm excited to share the whole journey with you guys. I'm going to be trying to do a video probably once a week, that's what I'd like to do, but I also don't want making videos to get in the way of my experience, so I'm just gonna do the best I can and see how it goes. If you want more regular updates, follow on Instagram because I will be posting there as often as I can. And I'll also be sharing updates on my Patreon page, so make sure to check that out if you're interested in even more updates. Thanks so much for watching. See you out on the trail. Subscribe for more videos. Bye. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs>